Flexa family. Let's talk about AMP. Let's talk about Gary Ganu and the SEC. So Gary Ganu, you know, when he first came on the scene, on his agenda, he had this thing about crypto, like, I'm going to go after crypto. You know, so that, that was on his mind when he took power. And odds are there's probably more to that. You know, it's a good chance some people have been lobbying for that. And Gary Ganu is the guy that they handpicked to do it. Regardless, since he is in power, you know, a lot of these companies pretty much have to do what the SEC says because, you know, they have the power to shut people down, you know, and the last thing companies want is to be shut down. So we can't blame Binance, you know, we can't blame Nomad, Crypto.com for taking the actions that they did. But it begs the question, you know, why Flex the Network AMP? You know, when Gary Ganu came on the scene, one of the things he said was, hey, you know, a lot of these coins are not compliant. We want all these guys to come and talk to us because the SEC has the ability to exempt people. You know, so basically they have a blank check to say, you're security, you're not a security, you're given an exemption. And it begs the question, why did they go after Flex and Network AMP? Because Flex and Network has been complying from the beginning. You know, they did everything. They've informed the SEC, and, but the SEC has not been cleared. And this is something that the exchanges have been talking about. Other coins have been talking about. It's like, hey, you know, you're telling us to come in communications with you. And you're still coming after us, even when we've gone talk to you. You're not telling us what we're supposed to do to become compliant. So this, I can see an avenue, an avenue of hope for Flex and Network AMP because they have been compliant. They've gone to, through the states and let the state know, hey, we're in these states, we're doing this, and we're here, we're filling out all the proper paperwork. They let the SEC know that they're here, what they do, and the SEC has not told them anything. But they did get accused of being a security in that complaint against the insider trade people. You know, the people that are involved in that insider trading scheme. <clears throat> so, I can see Flex the Network, AMP, getting out of this. Because they did everything they were supposed to do. SEC still kind of tarnished their name. But the SEC can fix it by saying, hey, you know, they did contact us. We're going to work this out. We're going to accept Flex the Network AMP, or we're going to tell Flex the Network AMP what they need to do to be fully compliant. And then Flex the Network AMP returns. But then the bigger question is, the, this is part of a bigger agenda. The SEC said that many, many coins are not compliant. So some of the other tokens you guys may have may be next. So who's next? It's hard to tell because, like Gary Ganu has said, a lot of coins are not compliant. And, you know, so he's looking to make a name for himself. You know, he's looking to please some people behind the scenes. So guys, be careful and safe investing. Until next time, peace out.